All right, today I've got a really exciting project that you can actually do at home with just everyday liquids. Um, it's a density project. Have you ever heard of it? I think I remember learning about density in school, yeah. All right. So a lot of people think density is just how much something weighs, but it's actually a relationship. It's a relationship between how much stuff you have and how much space you have. So for example, I could have two cups, the same exact size, the same exact amount of space, but one will have more stuff in it and one will have less stuff in it. And this might sound a little confusing, but I do have an experiment here to kind of show you the difference. So what I have here is a series of nine different liquids. Can you take a guess what some of them are? Oh gosh, um, uh, maybe honey at the bottom and some other stuff in there. Looks That's like right. there might be milk, uh, some water, uh -huh. and then a bunch of amorphous stuff. stuff, yeah. Yeah, like <laughs> dish soap and maple syrup for uh -huh. breakfast okay. in the morning, and then I've even got some lamp oil on the top. Now, even though it might not look like it, it's actually the same amount of liquid for each of these, uh, or same amount of space for each of the liquids. But they are a little bit different. Some of the liquids are more dense and some are less dense. Can you take a guess on what the most dense liquid is? It's probably going to be the one at the bottom. So, is that the honey? Absolutely. And the least dense? The one on the top here, the uh, lamp oil. Exactly. You're really good at this. So this is a fun little experiment you can do at home. We have three different objects here and we're going to test their respective dens densities. So we're going to start with a bolt. So it looks pretty heavy. Where do you think it's going to go? It looks pretty heavy. Um, I'm going to say that it's going to go, uh, you said that was the maple syrup? I think, yes. it'll, I think it'll get right about to that maple syrup and then just kind of float there. All right, let's see. Oh, where did it go? I went right to the bottom. Wow. It's a little hard to see, but yeah, it's there. So we can assess or guess that it's at least as heavy as the as the honey, or at least as dense. Mm -hmm. Okay. That makes sense. So let's try another object. All right. So we got a, a dice. Uh huh. Mm, I'm gonna say it's gonna go to this. I uh, will say the maple syrup level there, the darker layer. All right. Let's give it a go. Let's see if we can see it. Looks like it might be in the middle. Maybe towards the milk. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think I can see it there. All right. right around the milk. A little okay. off, but okay. That's really interesting. So, two different types of densities there. Now we've got the last object. Any guess on where that might go? I mean, this is pretty light. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's gonna float on the top. All right, let's see. Hey, you're pretty good at this. I try. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you go home, you can this experiment very easily. You can use any type of liquid at home and wherever the object floats is how dense it is. All right, well thank you for sharing this with me. You're welcome.